Hello everyone, welcome back to Sharmila's Kitchen and today I'm going to be making Soya Cutlet. It's a protein rich tasty snack. If no one likes to eat soya, they will absolutely love it. It can be served as an appetizer or snack with masala tea. First soak the soy granules into the hot water for 30 minutes. Keep it aside. In the meantime, I am going to be making a roasted masala. For that, I added roasted jeera and dry chilies in a mortar. We don't need fine powder. We are going to use this coarse powder to make the cutlet spicy and flavorful. Now drain the water through a sieve and squeeze off excess water from the granules properly. Keep it aside. Now in a pan, heat oil, add chopped garlic and ginger. Saute for a few seconds. Once the ginger and garlic become golden brown, add chopped onion and salt. Salt helps the onion to cook quickly. Saute for a few seconds. Once the onions are cooked for 2 minutes or so, add roasted masala, red chili powder, amchur powder and garam masala. Stir well. After adding masalas, the color changes to dark. Now we will cook it for 1 minute on low flame. Let the spices cook well so that the raw flavors completely go away. Now add mashed potatoes. It will work as a binding for the cutlets. Mix well with masala on low flame. Make sure the spices don't burn. Now add soy granules, roasted peanuts. This is optional and little breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs will absorb the moisture and bind as well. Finally add chopped coriander. Mix well and our mixture is ready. Let it cool down. Now let's give it a shape of cutlet. You can make round, bullet or any shape. I'm using a round cookie cutter to make a perfect size cutlets. And I also tucked a peanut in the center. Looking so cute. So all the cutlets are ready to coat and crown. For coating, I add salt and water in the defined flour or maida. Mix well and make a thin batter. And I also spread some breadcrumbs in a plate. First take a cutlet. Dip in the batter using a fork and coat with breadcrumbs very well all the sides. Make sure there is no side uncovered. So cutlets are coated really well. They are ready to fry but before frying it's good to keep in the refrigerator for 5 minutes so that the cutlets are set well. You can either shallow fry, bake or air fry them. It's your choice. I am frying in the hot oil. It takes around 5 minutes to fry both the sides on medium flame. Make sure that the oil is not too hot when you drop the cutlets. Take out and soak the excess oil in an absorbent paper before serving. And our soya cutlets are ready to enjoy with ketchup. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you like this recipe, please hit the like button, share with your family and friends and don't forget to subscribe.